Hello. Welcome. My name is Dee Dee Alder, and I am a percussionist and a songwriter, and I'm part of the Earthwork Music Collective, which is a beautiful collective of artists in Michigan. And I'm very excited to be performing tonight uh, with the Kalamazoo Public Library and the Bach Festival doing the show Bach and Jammies. This show is going to be a collection of pieces that I've put together. And these pieces all have a theme. And the theme today is creativity or our ideas. And so each of these songs explore what creativity is, how can we strengthen our creativity and how much it's important to not only artists, but every person important to you. I hope that you are finding your own creativity. This first song I'm going to perform is called Bliss Jam. And Bliss Jam was written by my musical partner, Josh Holcomb. And he's allowed me to perform it solo-ish for you today. Enjoy. is called, What Do You Do With An Idea? I'm Handy, and this is Dee Dee. Hi. And we are going to read this book for you today. Enjoy. For Shale and Ever, always remember 
A single idea can change everything. Dad. With thanks to my friends who always support me in my work, May Bessem. What do you do with an idea? Written by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by May Bessem. One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. Hmm. Sometimes handy our ideas can be so big that they can be a little scary to think about or a little hard to think about. Mmm, yeah. I've had a big idea like that before. Me too. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. <laughs> but there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. Hmm. I wonder if anyone who's watching right now has ever had that feeling. I've had that happen and I felt sad. And it made me question if my idea was any good. Yeah, Handy. I've had that feeling too. Really? Yeah. And at first I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. Oh, so that way it could be free to become whatever it might be. Yes. I 
I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could be anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands. Because, it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. Wow. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Ah, you see what's happening? There's more color. Wow. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. What? Yeah. <gasps> wow, is that when your idea comes out of your head and becomes real? Yeah, Handy, I think so. So other people can touch it or play with it or work with it? That's right, yeah, when we have an idea in our mind, a lot of times we have to think about it and think about it and plan and plan and then suddenly it starts to be used by other people or we can use it and it brings beauty or functionality or loveliness into the world. Wow, I wanna do that. You can do that handy. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. The end. Wow. Oh, what a great book. I hope you enjoyed it too. That's one of my favorite books. And I was thinking about how the idea was an egg. And I was thinking about how the artist chose an egg to represent the idea. And as I thought about it, I realized that an egg grows a bird or a reptile, like a snake or an alligator. And they start out very small and then they grow and grow and grow until they break free. And then those animals get their own lives. And that helped represent how the idea could get its own life. In this next song, I use a similar metaphor to an egg, but instead it's a seed. And in this song called Little Bean, I use the seed to represent not only the ideas and creativity we can grow, but also the relationships that we can build in our lifetime. Enjoy. This is an original song called Little Bean. Take a little seed, it contains everything. She's a little bean, go and plant her in the spring. Wait a little time, as she begins to climb. You gotta water that thing, so she can spread her leaves. The 
soil and the sun will guide her. Her breath and the rain will wash her cares away. The beauty in this hour will inspire us. She will grow, we will grow. Trim down the weeds for your little bean. Means everything. Let her grow oh, big and Then one day, you'll be surprised to see, she's blossoming, she's blossoming. The soil and the sun will guide her, her breath and the rain will wash her cares away, the beauty in the sun will inspire us. Gotta take a little time to leave our cares behind. Enjoy this life, such a choice every time. No need to sprint ahead and leave our friends behind. It's a marathon, life's a marathon. Will keep us rooted down. The beauty of this life will inspire us. She will grow. Oh, I hope you're enjoying this show, and it's such an honor for me to be able to share my music with you. And this next song, this is my final song for the night, uh, is actually a debut of a video that I recorded with Clark Camera Cinema out of Grand Rapids. And we put this together, and this is a pre-release of my official launch of the music video and I'm very excited to share it with you today. Now, this song is about creativity in a different way. It's about creating our inner landscape, creating the kind of people that we wanna be and being intentional about who we want to be. And so this song is called Powerful and it's a song that I use to kind of guide me to the type of person that I want to be and I hope that it can guide you to lead you to the type of person you may want to be. So here it is, my debut music video, Powerful.
I am powerful, I can bend. I am rooted in truth, I can speak it. I can hear your words, I can bend. It doesn't hurt me to hear you, I can bend. This is my one life. I can claim it. There is freedom in my mind. I can unchain it. Won't let these bars get a hold on me. This is my only chance. I'm gonna take it. I am powerful. I can bear. I am rooted in truth. I can speak it, I can hear your words, I can bear it. It doesn't hurt me to hear you, I can bear This is your one life, don't want to control you. Want to lift you up, be your shelter here, so that you can find your truth. This is your oh, oh, only chance. Come on and take it. I am powerful. I can bear. I am rooted in truth. I can speak it. I can hear your words. I can bear. It doesn't hurt me to hear you, I can bend. We are powerful, we can bend. We are rooted in truth, we can speak it. We can hear your words, we can bend. It doesn't hurt us to hear you. my pajamas on and I'm ready for bed so thank you all for being with me it's been such a pleasure to perform for you and to have you tune in I miss seeing you for real in the real world and I'm sure that you miss seeing your friends and family too so what are your dreams What's your creativity? What brings you inspiration? What is your idea? I love singing goodbye Cause you know it means Next time I see you We'll be coming soon I love singing goodbye Cause you know it means Take care of your families And follow your dreams Sweet dreams <laughs>